Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Another week, another cup of tea. Uh, before we get going, let's address the elephant in the room. And by elephant, I mean mannequin. Yes, there is a mannequin in the room. Um, that's how I'll be uh, posting my clothing on social media now. Um, you know, originally I was just posting um, like screenshot, screenshots of the design like that I make on the computer. Um, and then I would actually post pictures of the clothing, either like hanging up or on the floor. Um, and that was like, you know, people must want to see it actually be worn. So I started posting pictures of me wearing the clothes. Um, and I'm like, I, I, let me just get a fucking mannequin. So I got this mannequin and, you know, got it off Amazon and it is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It is taller than me. Um, but yeah, that's the mannequin. Uh, and that's how I will be posting pictures of my clothing from now on. So now that that's addressed, good morning. Um, today we're going to be talking about something that I have gone through my whole life. Um, and I've put up with, uh, for a majority of my life until very recently. Um, and it's something I've talked about with other people. I know it's relatable because I hear stories about how they deal with it on their end when I talk to them. Um, but it's when you receive things from whether it be family or friends, when you receive gifts, whether it be cash, a check, um, a physical object, and it's, it's not really a gift because, you know, you get it. But if you guys stop talking, if y'all have a, have a, have an issue and, you know, something happens, they want it back. They take it back. They threaten to take it back. You know, if you don't talk to me. If you don't hang out with me, if you don't, um, you know, do whatever, I'm taking it back. And it's like, then it's not a gift. You know what I mean? Um, so let's talk about it. Uh, again, it's something I have lived with. Um, and it wasn't until very recently that I, you know, had some respect for myself and said, you know what, if that's how it's going to be, I don't need shit from you. Um, and, you know, it's something I talk about with other people. Um, you know, one person I talked about uh, the topic with, they were talking about how their parents, you know, uh, a parent of theirs gave their kid a gift. Um, I think it was like a tablet. It, it was something. It was like a gift for, you know, their grandkid. Um, and then after my friend and their parent had issues with one another, they were like threatening to take it away or maybe they even did take it away. Um, it's early, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's so early. My dog had me up early this morning, but long story short, you know, like it was something that was given to her, uh, her son. And once her and her parent weren't talking, they either took it away or threatened to take it away. And it's like, so you're going to punish the child because you and your child are having issues. So you're going to punish your grandchild. That's so fucked up. Um, but that's just an example. I mean, that's it's something I've gone through my whole life. I, you know, um, uh, with uh, I don't want to get too specific. I don't want to piss anybody off because God forbid if I was treated negatively, that doesn't matter. But if I talk about it, then all hell breaks loose. Um, mm, so let's do this vaguely and broadly. Um, I've dealt with it, man. I, I've been given. Um, you know, whether it be money, but I have to act a certain way. I've been given, given, given physical objects, but I have to go places I'm uncomfortable to go and stay places I don't want to stay. Um, it's, it's just so fucked up. So, you know, what changed? What changed uh, is over this past year, I just, I really just started saying, fuck it, man. Like, you know, I might be broke, but I'd rather be broke than be uncomfortable and live comfortably. Um you know what I mean? Like a lot of people around me, you, you know, don't live the way I live. They live very, you know, extravagant lifestyles. Um, I don't, uh, I don't want to, I can't afford to. Um, but anytime something was ever given to me, I always had to, there were always strings attached. And that's, it, it's just so fucked up. So over the last year, uh, we can talk about my wedding. Wedding's coming up, as you know, I'm paying for it myself. My mom's helping me out a little bit, um, as well as the other family members and uh, friends who have kind of contributed um, over the holidays, uh, my birthday, just random generous gifts on our registry. Y'all are amazing, but like, 
as a whole, you know, the, the grand picture is I am paying for it on my own. Um, and it's cool. I'm doing things my way. I'm inviting people I want to invite. I'm not inviting people I don't want to invite. Um, and we're looking forward to it, man. A few more months away. I'm excited. Uh, but, w- but with the wedding, you know, we're talking about gifts. Um, you know, somebody, and the gift was never even given or really planned on being given, but there was talks from somebody about giving me a gift. And by gift, I mean check. Um, I don't know how much the check would have been. It wouldn't be enough to pay off my wedding, but you know, whatever. And I was told that if, and when I get that check, it was going to be our wedding gift and we can do whatever we want with it. Okay, cool. Then I later heard from that person that yes, it is a gift, but that gift also includes them being able to invite their friends to our wedding. Uh, and really that would have been what that check was used for because you invite more people, you gotta pay for more tables. You gotta pay for centerpieces for those tables. You gotta pay for the food, the plates. It's expensive per person. Open bar, you gotta pay per person. It's not a gift. (laughs) It's not a gift. So, you know, that's another example is like, hey, this is, this is a gift, but you're going to do it the way I want you to do it. It's not a gift, man. Um, it's just so fucked up. You know, I've, I've been very cautious of who I accept gifts from. Um, I've been very cautious who gives my fiance gifts and who gives my stepson gifts because I grew up with it. You know, I grew up with being treated a certain way because, you know, if people think if they give you stuff, then they can treat you however they want. So I've been very cautious with that. Um, and again, recently when it comes to gifts, gifts, um, you know, my birthday was in April and somebody who I no longer have a relationship with, um, sent me something could have just been a birthday card, could have been a check in there. I didn't open the envelope. I, um, returned it real quick. Um, got in the mail and I returned it the next day. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to know what was in it. I don't care. Um, because I know if I accept it, then I am treated like a little bitch, um, for being blunt. Um, you know, I'm treated like shit, but because I received a gift because I accepted a gift, I have to take it. Um, you know, I gotta, gotta take that disrespect. I'm not cool with it. Um, and you know, I grew up over over the years. I I literally saw people. I saw I saw somebody who spent all this money on this partner they were dating. Um, saw them spend money on the partner's kids, uh, and then when the partner no longer wanted to be with them, the gaslighting began. And this person that I knew, no, this person was telling their partner, you know, I spent all this money on this and that and I helped you buy this for your kids and I put this much money in that for your kids and uh, blah 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 it's like that's a gift man when you do that that is a gift it is no longer yours no matter how much it is no matter if it's twenty dollars or forty thousand whatever the fuck it is it is a gift grow the fuck up god people piss me off man people piss me off, bro. Uh, but again, it's something I've grown with over the years. It's something I've seen, I've dealt with, and I've learned to get away from, and I will be sure to, uh, protect my family from it as in I will protect my soon to be wife from it. And I will protect my stepson from it. And I will protect my future kids from it because nobody deserves that shit. So to all you out there who are treated like shit, but keep relationships with people because, oh, maybe they give you a nice birthday gift every year. Maybe they help you with this financially or whatever it is, man. Speaking firsthand, it's not fucking worth it. And the second you distance yourself, the second you respect yourself to stop accepting gifts, to be treated like shit, a huge weight will be lifted off your shoulders. I I promise, because I know I did it. Um, it's just so disgusting. I'm trying to do this vaguely because again, I don't want anybody whining. Cause again, you know, I can be treated like shit and nobody bats an eye, but the second I come out and get specific with how I'm treated, everybody fucking all hell breaks loose. Um, wild, but yeah, man, I mean, that's really it. My, my whole point is whether you need financial help, whether you get a, a nice gift from somebody, whether you're being, I, 
spoiled, I guess, you know, whether it's, again, whether it's a family member, a friend, a partner, yes, it's nice to be spoiled, but if you're getting all this shit and not being treated the way you know you deserve to be treated, it's not fucking worth it. That's really all I can say without getting into, oh my god, we're already at 10 minutes. Poof. Wow, I could go on and on and on. Believe me, if I could get into detail, I mean, look, people message me and people say, well, even ask me, you know, oh, who was this about? What was this about? I'll tell you if you want to DM me. I'm, I'm the most open person you will ever meet. If you ever watch one of my videos and you're like, oh, man, I wonder what this is about. Just message me whether we're on good terms or not, whether we talk with one another or not, whether we're friends with one another. Just message me, man. I will tell you what I'm talking about. It ain't nothing. It ain't. It, it ain't nothing, man. Just message me. I'll tell you. Um, but I think I covered everything I want to co- cover. Um, so again, you know, long story short, to those who are in my position or were in my position, um, distance yourself. You know, do what's 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 good for you and what's good for your family. Um, again, you know, I'm I'm keeping my fiance out of shit. I'm keeping my stepson out of shit. Um, cause I see I see how things go, man. I see people will be fucking drama queens with people, be dramatic, won't include people, but to make it up for not including them, they'll be like, oh, let's just give them a couple hundred dollars. Nah, man, it's not how it goes. So, uh, and to those on the opposite end, fuck you, learn to treat people better, and don't cry like a little bitch if people don't want to take it from you anymore and decide to distance themselves, because good for them for wanting to better themselves and for having respect for themselves. You should learn from them. So, next week um gonna do a a touchy topic um but it's important uh, especially with um you know certain things that have gone on in this world and in this country um the last week we're gonna talk about religion and how and we're not gonna talk about one religion you know i'm not over here to bash one specific religion we're just gonna talk about religion because i hate to break it to you but your religion's a fucking joke And again, I'm not talking about specific religions. So it's like, oh man, he's talking about Christianity or he's talking about Judaism or he's talking about, nah, man, believe me, I was raised between two different families with two different religions. I saw different things. And then I'm, uh, I'm also referring to things outside of Christianity and Judaism. I'm, 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 there's so many other religions and no matter which one we talk about your religion, whoever you are listening, your religion is a fucking joke. Not to say, you know, I'm over here saying God ain't real. Look, I believe in a higher power, whether it's God or whoever else. I believe in a higher power. But y'all fucking living your lives with hate, um, you know, going against so many things because a book tells you to, because a scroll tells you to, because whatever maybe existent or non-existent thing tells you to, you're fucking weird. So... Next week, your religion is a fucking joke, and you're in a fucking cult, basically. Uh, But until then, stay beautiful. Don't be a dick. As always, peace out, Girl Scouts.